You may begin right now. Pain. Everyone's had it. And walking, almost everyone does it. But walking with pain, nobody wants that. Surprisingly, 25% of the population, so one out of every four of us, not only walks with knee pain, but participates in activities like running and jumping despite their knee pain. People who have this pain commonly report it in the front of their knee, as that picture shows. When this pain lasts longer than three weeks, they are clinically diagnosed with patellofemoral pain syndrome, or PFPS. Having worked with several people who have PFPS, I decided to answer their million dollar question, how do I walk without knee pain? Now, this has been a topic of research in the past, but nobody can really figure it out and come up with a good treatment option for these people. My research focused specifically on how to decrease knee pain in physically active individuals who reported an increase in knee pain with activities like walking, running, going up and down stairs, and jumping. As an aspiring physical therapist, I wanted to know two things. One, how does exercise influence pain? And two, how do therapeutic modalities influence pain? There have been a lot of, re a lot of research projects focused on which exercises are most effective at reducing knee pain among these individuals. So essentially, my first question was answered, and I used the existing literature to come up with an exercise program for my patients. Therapeutic modalities, on the other hand, have much less support. Ultrasound is one example of a therapeutic modality that has limited support for decreasing knee pain. Now, you're probably thinking, ultrasound, isn't that what they used to take pictures during pregnancy? And you're right, it is. But there's a second type. As you can see here, ultrasound can also be used, um, you can use the gel to in introduce a therapeutic energy through the skin to injured tissues, essentially reduce pain. In order to figure this out, I decided to divide my patients into two groups. One, who received ultrasound and an exercise program, and another who received an exercise program alone. On the first day, patients in both groups reported a pain rating of nine on a scale of zero to 10. 10 being the worst pace you could ever, pain you could ever imagine. As you can see from those pictures, a rating of nine isn't a happy face. <laughs> After six weeks of hard work and treatment, patients that received ultrasound in addition to therapeutic exercise reported a decrease in pain from nine to one. Those are much happier faces over there. <laughs> These patients reported a decrease in pain that allowed them to return to activities like running and jumping again. Therefore, I concluded the following. Pain, everyone's had it. And walking, almost everyone does it. But walking with pain, no one has to do it. Thank you.